So our building is just about 10 years old and it features a great deal of glass. It's a, a beautiful design in that it lets in a lot of light, but we found that we had a bird strike problem. Cape May is a very important site for migrating songbirds. Colliding with glass is far more pervasive than anybody realizes. Almost any piece of glass can be dangerous to a bird. For myself and many of the other employees, and our students as well, it was very, very upsetting. And at one point, uh, a young woman came up and said, I don't want to work at the front desk anymore. I can't take it. And she had tears in her eyes. And I had felt the same way, but I was just kind of not acknowledging it. But when I looked at her face and she said, I can't do this anymore, I said, okay, we're going to fix this. Uh, we started with very basic solutions, which didn't really seem to work very well. But it wasn't until um, a biologist that we were working with showed us the brochure from ABC about retrofitting buildings that have a bird problem. So um, at that point we reached out to Christine Shepard at ABC to get some data to find out, okay, these products that you put on the glass, do they really work? There are actually a lot of different things that will work, which means that whether your primary decision making is about cost or if it's about effectiveness or if it's about how easy it is to put up or what it looks like, there's going to be a solution that's going to work for you. So she was able to tell us that the opaque kaleidoscape would be as effective as anything out on the market in reducing or if not eliminating bird strikes. And it came with the added benefit of reducing the sun, which would make the rooms cooler, less glare. This would work for us um, on two fronts, saving energy, saving birds, everybody's happy. It's been almost a year and we truly have not seen any collisions. Now I can see the birds, I listen to the birds, and I know they're okay.